Built in 2004, the Yeslo Terrace Community Center has been serving families for the past 18 years. The center helps kids with school, sports, food, money, and all-around learning through multiple youth programs. Yeslo has gone through many changes in the past 73 years, including the ongoing redevelopment since 2013. However, the Community Center is here to stay. Hi, my name is Wettis and my pronouns are she, her, and I've lived in Yesler my whole life. The community center is important to me because I've been coming here since I was younger and you know, it's just a fun place to be. My favorite thing to do at the community center is go to the Big Brains program and what we need more of is like more programs to occupy kids because there's not much to do here anymore. My favorite activity to do at the community center is probably like, you know, hang out with friends or go to Big Brains, like I said. I don't really play basketball, but also it's like closed a lot for like other things. Uh, my name is James Hampton, and I am the uh, owner and executive director of Drills and Skills. Uh, I, I'm an independent contractor that uh, is in partnership with the Yesler Community Center to develop uh, strong leaders uh, for youth. I've been at Yesler about six years, and uh, I uh, was running the program at Bitter Lake Community Center, and I uh, talked to uh, the coordinator here, Gary Alexander, and he was wanting us to bring the program to Yesler. And so we had a discussion with Bitter Lake and uh, came to a conclusion that this would be a better spot for the program. Uh, this benefits the youth because uh, the youth can come in uh, to the building and uh, where it's more safer than outside in the community. For us, we are still serving a lot of the same kids uh, here. Uh, in, uh, at Yesler, but a lot of those kids, they are, they've moved away from the community, but because of the program, uh, they commute back into the community. I think that uh, if we can get more staffing, uh, a larger budget, I think that, that we can serve our kids more. Um, we have kids out there that some of them don't even eat breakfast for the, before they go to school. Uh, they, uh, some walk to school, some ha don't have transportation a lot of the time. And I think one of the most interesting thing is that uh, we have a variety of programs. Like we come in, we, we have an athletic program uh, that builds leadership, but uh, where are the uh, piano lessons? Where are the violin lessons? Where are the, you know, we, we could have a lot a diversity of programs for kids so that uh, they can have more options. And I think that that's one of the major things that we can improve. I'd like to uh, see more uh, done around parents. Uh, where are the, the programs teaching them how to, you know, be fathers and, and, and mothers and uh, it should be the hub for the center of the community. Hi, my name is Gary Alexander. I'm the Recreation Coordinator here at the City of Seattle. I've been working in this field for about 25 years, and I've been at Yesler Community Center going on three years now. So actually, all of our programs during the summertime, um, there's a cost involved, but the cost is very minimum so that participants can participate. So right now, we're experiencing a little over 250 kids um, Monday through Friday, which is a great thing, boys, girls, and adults. It's actually a little less since the pandemic, because the pandemic we had folks that were coming throughout the day, not just during the summertime or in the, in the late afternoon, if you will. Uh, before the redevelopment, it's actually a little less. Uh, during the redevelopment, what it did was it exposed individuals to a lot of the programs that we're having, and so now we're experiencing uh, a, a large number of folks that are participating. So our gym actually is used um, by a variety of our participants. Currently, right now, we have in the mornings a basketball camp, um, which is serving approximately 100 participants, boys and girls. Uh, in the afternoon or in the early evenings, our facility is rented out, 
and we have a dodgeball group, and there's roughly 100 folks there. Um, also during the summer, um, we have our girls program, uh, we have a video program, uh, we have our pre preschool and day camp program. During the school year, theoretically, we have a variety of programs as well. Um, and those programs consist of a senior program. We also have a program from adults, which includes um, bat, um, pit pickleball, which is very popular here. And then we have our after school programs and a preschool program early in the morning for younger kids. So the way to look at it is all programs basically have a cost, but the different organizations usually have scholarships or something. So SHA is an example, it was one prime supporter of our facilities and they, they provide a variety of different scholarship opportunities. So in one instance, the program is kind of free. The other instance, it's through scholarships. Future programming goal, good question. So my goal as the coordinator is to make sure that we're providing services to all. Uh, as you look around the facilities, I mean, there's a variety of different folks that are coming in and moving in and out of, of the, the neighborhood. And I think it's viable that we're able to figure out and find out what their likes are. Um, I think also with SHA, a lot of residents moving in, it's important for the parents to come into our facilities, frequent it, and see what we have to offer. And they'll find that there's something that's good for their kids. As Gary has mentioned, the community center provides a variety of services, but there's still a need for more learning opportunities beneficial to both kids and adults. More programs can only be implemented if there is more accessibility to the community center. Even a youth recognizes that Yesler Terrace residents have a lack of accessibility to the community center gym because of outside parties renting the space for themselves. We have discovered that the Yesler residents need their community center to encourage children's curiosity and to support and guide families in order to care for future generations.